Fiat has joined the market in making the 2023 model cars, and they've done a great job of making them better than they were before. And now, they've also done this with the Fiat Fastback, releasing a car that is unlike any other. The 2023 model has done a great job of standing out among its competitors, but what does the 2023 Fiat Fastback really have to offer? Let's find out, shall we? Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll look at the 2023 Fiat Fastback and find out what this new model has to offer. Before we go any further, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more great updates on your favorite cars. And with that, let's find out what the 2023 Fiat Fastback has to offer. Before Fiat launched the 2023 Fastback, Fiat had already stipulated that it would be the star of the year, and for sure it was. Fiat also said that it would arrive with a silhouette that would gradually stand out in the smaller segments. It's positioned above the more popular Fiat Pulse, however, this does not mean that it's not a part of the segment. In fact, it'll just be more equipped and with a different design. The 2023 Fiat Fastback has left many shocked because of the number of sales it's recorded in the first few moments it was on the market. The Fiat Fastback's first moments on the market served as a great indication of its future in Brazil. However, this only means that Stellantis, the parent company of Fiat, will definitely run into problems, especially when it comes to fulfilling all orders. According to the automaker, they have already sold 5,400 units in about 10 days since its launch back on September 14th. This was only through the weekend, surpassing their estimate of selling somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 vehicles per month. Herlander Zola, Fiat's senior vice president for South America, said, Initial sales are usually faster, so it was expected that in this first month, due to the expectation of the launch, the result would exceed the average monthly volume forecast. But we still had very significant numbers that demonstrate the full sales potential of the Fiat Fastback. But what is it about the 2023 Fiat Fastback that made people rush for it the moment it was released? One of the most important things to mention is the fact that the Fiat Fastback has been fitted with a new suspension. An optimization was made to the front geometry, allowing a lower roll center. This has, in turn, increased the stability of a new steering ratio that has ensued more precise and direct steering. In addition to that, it also features a larger stabilizer bar diameter that does a great job of providing more dynamic stability. The suspension also has new springs and dampers, making the handling much better. And the beauty of this is that it gives off a high level of comfort that was not there. One word that can describe the 2023 Fiat Fastback is powerful. Well, this is because of the fact that the entire Fastback line is 100% turbo. For the Audis and Impetus versions, there are two engine options. These two versions are equipped with the Turbo 200 Flex, which gives them a power of about 130 horsepower with ethanol. If you're using gasoline, you'll get about 125 horsepower, just 5 horsepower less than ethanol. Not only that, but it also gives you torque of about 200 Nm. The propeller allows the model to move from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 9.4 seconds. This makes this car the fastest among the competitors that have a 1.0 turbo engine in the category. Not only that, but the consumption of the propeller is also something to admire about this car. It is the lowest among its competitors, with a turbo engine of up to 1.5 liters. To top it all off, it has the best power to weight ratio in the same category. The 2023 Fiat Fastback is even better. The model has three different driving modes. There are the normal, which focuses on lower consumption and more comfort. Manual, which is more about versatility, and the Sport, which is all about faster responses. If you want to enter the latter, all you have to do is press a button that is on the steering wheel, and the entire car's tuning is changed. Once you're in this mode, there is more sensitivity on the acceleration pedal, a more skittish mapping on the gear changes, a firmer steering mode, and the activation of Dynamic Torque Vectoring (DTV). If you want to drive a high-end engine, the transmission is also up to par. Because of this, the Turbo 200 version of the Fastback has a continuously variable transmission, CVT, 
and the Turbo 270 version has a six-speed automatic transmission. Like all other cars, there are some variants of the Fiat Fastback, and they are all unique. Each of them have something unique to offer. The very first variant of the Fiat Fastback is the Fiat Fastback Audis Turbo 200 Flex AT. The Audis version is equipped with a Turbo 200 engine and CVT gearbox. This variant has a very comprehensive list of standard items. Some of them include ADAS, Automatic Emergency Braking, Lane Change Alert, and Automatic Headlight Switching, Stability and Traction Control, Front and Side Chest and Head Airbags, 17-inch Alloy Wheels, Electronic Handbrake with Auto Hold, and Automatic and Digital Air Conditioning. In addition to all of these features, it has pedal shifters which are butterfly on the steering wheel, a rear parking sensor and camera, a wireless charger, a multimedia center with an 8.4 inch screen with wireless pairing, charging induction, and even full LED headlights and lanterns. The second variant is the Fastback Impectus Turbo 200 Flex AT. This variant is like an upgrade of the Audis. In addition to all the items that are available on the Audis, the Impetus version also comes with some leather covered seats, a darkened interior finish, a front parking sensor, bi-color paintwork with a black roof, fog lights with cornering lamps function, a sports wheel with an 18 inch diamond finish, and even electrically folding exterior mirrors, carpet mats, and a 7 inch full digital instrument panel. There's also a 10.1 inch touchscreen multimedia center with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of all three variants, the most expensive one is the Fastback Limited Edition, powered by Abarth Turbo 270 Flex AT. This is the limited edition of the most famous Scorpion in the world, and it's equipped with a powerful Turbo 270 engine and 6-speed automatic transmission. In addition to all the items available in the other versions, this configuration has 18-inch sporty alloy wheels with darkened paint and limited edition badges on the front fenders. In addition to all that, there are some powered by Abarth engravings on the engine compartment and door cover suitcases. As usual, at the beginning of the sales of any car, the most famous version of the Fiat Fastback is the top of the line limited edition. This is the only variant that comes with a 1.3 liter turbo engine. As for the price, it comes in at $149,990. However, as much as we know that the company recorded some amazing sales with the launch of this car, the figures for the Audis and Impedance versions, which both have the 1.0 turbo engine, are unknown. Herlander Zola continues to say that the most commercialized version was the top of the range limited edition powered by Abarth, which shows that we were right to offer a more sporty option. We have great expectations that the Fastback can occupy a prominent position in the B SUV segment. Fiat has commented that the SUV coupe will help the brand reposition itself. This is given the fact that this is the most expensive model among the cars that have been produced in Brazil. The limited edition is second only to the electric Fiat 500 and the Toro pickup, especially in terms of prices. The Fastback is produced by Betum MG and was built on the MLA platform, an evolution of the MP1 architecture used in the Argo and Kronos. With this, Fiat is set out to take over the Brazilian market this year. Its latest release will be the Pulse Abarth, which is a sporty version of the compact SUV that shares the same 185 horsepower, 1.3 liter turbo engine as the Fastback. The 2023 Fiat Fastback has already been presented and major reviewers have had a chance to actually look at it. However, we will not see it in its commercial debut until late next year. So what do you think of the 2023 Fiat Fastback? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. See you in the next one.